Hey everyone, Justin here from the Bill Corps Wellness Center, coming at you with another stretch and mobility routine. For today's routine, we're going over five different standing mobility exercises that you can do to increase range of motion throughout your entire body. You can do this just about anywhere. So whether you're a desk worker or you're a brewery worker, you're going to be able to take away something that is going to help you feel refreshed, recharged, and loosened up. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to start with our feet hip width apart. We're going to do what's called the Tootsie Roll. It's aptly named after a popular 90s dance you may have seen. Basically what we're doing, we're working on knee and ankle mobility here. So we're in this squat, kind of quarter squat uh, stance here, feet hip width apart. We're going to first roll the knees or roll the knees in and roll the ankles onto the inner soles of the shoe. Then we're going to come up onto the toes. Then we're going to break the knees out and we're going to try to get onto the outer soles of our shoes before we come to the heels. So that's one. If you're following along with me, we're doing five of these. So there's two. We're trying to make the biggest circles possible. Here's four. So really working on the strength of those ankles and knees. Once you finish five there, you can stand up, rest for a second, and we're gonna come back down. We're going the opposite way. So we're gonna go heels first to the outer uh, edges of the feet, then to the toes, then to the inner edges. That's one. We're shooting for five. Whew. Almost lost my balance there. If that happens to you, catch your balance again, no worries. Pick it back up where you left off. There's four if I'm counting right, and five. Shake it all out, then we're moving to our next one which is a standing figure four reach. So what we're gonna do is we're going to bring the ankle of one leg to the opposite thigh. <clears throat> so this is, gonna take, this is gonna work some balance as well. So if you're worried that you might fall over, uh, get near a wall or a post or something or a chair that you can use on the side, but if you'd like to test your balance, try to go uh, without any assistance. We're gonna cross the ankle over on the opposite thigh, like so, uh, then we're simply just gonna keep our chest up, reach forward, that's one, we're shooting for five. So try to hold this position. Like I said, if you had a chair or a wall here, you could use that, like so, one arm reaching, the other helping you keep balance. But it is a really good uh, two birds with one stone type activity to work the balance as well as hip mobility with this. Here's four. And the last one on this side, five. Perfect. Let's switch to the other leg now. Angle over. Ooh, catch the balance. Chest up, reach forward, come back out of it, back into it. Notice I'm trying not to collapse my back. Here's three, We've got two more. It's good to inhale on the way up, exhale as you reach. Catch that balance, we've got one more. And then come out of that slowly, shake it all out. I'm sure those feet are really screaming at you right now, letting you know that they were helping you balance with that move. From here, we're gonna move to our third one, which is a standing hip extension. We're gonna do five of these. Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna face both feet forward. I want to take a step back. I wanna keep that knee bent. And then the most important thing here for this standing hip extension and hip flexor stretch is what we're doing with our pelvis or our hips. And so when I take this stance, I want the knee bent and it's really important that I squeeze the glute of this trail leg. I want to really squeeze both of them and you'll notice that's gonna bring my back from this position to tucking my tailbone underneath me into posterior pelvic tilt which is gonna allow me to get a better stretch. And then from here, basically what I'm gonna do is with those glutes turned on, core tight, I'm gonna straighten the back knee. So I'm straightening it, I'm holding for two seconds at the max point of stretch that I'm feeling in the front of the hip. 
then I'm coming back out of it. Simple as that. We're doing five. So here's number two. And three. We're only hanging out in this straight knee position for a second or two. We got four here. And the last one. Perfect. Shake it out. Same thing on the other side. So we'll have a right leg trailing now. Both feet are facing forward. Trail knee is bent, front knee is bent. From here, I'm gonna turn the glutes on, squeeze. And then all I'm doing is straightening that back knee. Two second hold, then relaxing back, bending the knee again, pushing back for two. Three. Inhale on the way up, exhale as you push. There's four. Remember, keep the glutes squeezed. And the last one, five, good. Shake it out. Next, we're going for a field goal post reach. It's named field goal post because we're gonna start here. Elbows at 90 degrees. We are going to first side bend. So pick a side to, uh, pick a side to bend towards. So first we're going to um, actually, excuse me, I messed up. We're going to be doing one down, one up, then we're going to bend to that side, and then we're going to reach with both sides. So come back to the start. We're going to do the other side now. We're doing five on each side alternating. So we're going to drop one down. We're going to bend with it first, and then we're going to reach. Exhale as you reach. Inhale, come back to the start. So now we're going to the same side we started with. Exhale, come back to the start. Speed it up now, inhale on the way up. Rotate down, side bend. Reach as you exhale. Back to the start. This is three on both sides. Back to the start. Do that robot dance. Let's do one more on each side, I lost count. One more won't hurt. Back to the start, rotate, side bend, reach. Shake it all out. And last but not least, our roll down. So we're going to get in a hip width stance with our feet. We're gonna open up. As we open up, we're pinching the shoulder blades together we're kind of looking up a little bit. We're squeezing the back. Inhale, big inhale. As we exhale, we're going to curl the shoulders forward, tuck the chin, and then come down to the ground. So we're shooting for five of these. <clears throat> First one's going now. Open up, inhale. As you exhale, curl those, curl those shoulders forward, tuck the chin. Come down as far as you can, relax the head and arms. On your next inhale, bring it back up. Open up, exhale, roll, tuck, relax. Good. Third one. Two more, inhale on the way up. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Exhale as we roll, tuck, and relax. Last one, inhale on the way up. Exhale on the way down as we roll all the way down. Shake it out, and that is it for today's guided standing mobility exercises that you can do just about anywhere. So hopefully you enjoyed those and you'll come back and check out our next routine coming out on Friday. Thanks y'all, have a good one.